Hello everybody and welcome back to Extra Holiday Games. I'm Extra Holiday and we've got Friend here and Friend is apparently at max happiness. So we're gonna talk to Master Mustard. What's this? What's this? Ah, uh, let's see how you and Kupfu are getting along. Bearmore. Good, good. You two are just the best of friends now, aren't you? Kupfu's really become more confident. How wonderful. I dare, I dare say, I think you're both ready. Follow me, you two. I mean, we're real friendly, but he's not exactly leveled just yet. So, hopefully we're not battling anything. Dum da dum dee dee, la 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 dee da. Woo, I guess this is a good spot as any. Now then, Holiday and Kung Fu, I want you to become, if you want to become stronger, there are special training, there are special training grounds just for Kung Fu. <laughs> Prepare yourselves for the Towers of Two Fists. The blue tower is the Tower of Waters. The red tower is the Tower of Darkness. Choose wisely since you'll only be able to climb one of the two towers. Kung Fu's fighting style will de change depending on the tower you choose, and the type it gets will change as well. Think carefully. Each tower is five stories tall, and each floor has a tough opponent waiting for you. Make sure you level up Kung Fu properly before trying to climb up. You can reach both of the towers by heading through the Forest of Focus. You might even be able to find a shortcut if you ride your bike across the river. I'm really looking forward to when you two make it to the top of one of those towers. It's going to be so exciting. Well. Kung Fu. Uh, it seems that we have some options. Seems like you're going to turn into either a dark type or a water type. And if that's the case, then uh, then I'm going to. For, well, maybe I should. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's let's keep the Ebia light on since we're apparently friendly enough. And you're not evolved yet. I'm pretty sure you evolve. Uh, Ebia light. Yes. Okay. Um, we're not actually going to use you while you're level 10, but um, let's just sort by type and actually see if we have any like experience candies or anything. We have rare candies, but it doesn't look like we have experience candies. Uh, oh, and the other thing I wanted to look for was see if we have a lucky egg. I don't think we do. Uh, does not look like it. Okay. Uh, so we're just going to have to train you. Let's see. Do I want to try switch training you? Or should I just go straight for the... Uh... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. How do I want to train you? Uh, well, I do know that I want to go to the Tower of Darkness rather than the Tower of Water. Because we already have plenty of water types. And you know what? If we go Tower of Darkness, then we can maybe swap uh, Shark Boy in for someone else. Since we were mainly using Shark Boy for his Dark type. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm trying to like think like, who who are we? Who do we have real good matchups against on this island? Uh, Buffalant would be a good matchup. But, uh, level difference. So, let's see, let's see. What about Brawler's Cave? What do we have in here that might be worth fighting? Um, we've got some Swoo Bats. Poly it's Polyrath, isn't it? Yeah, that's Polyrath. <laughs> it's funny because you can only really tell because of the expression. <laughs> Uh, that's a gold duck. A lot of water types in here. Help can take care of the water types, but also helps kind of the highest level on our team. 
So I don't know that I really want to be using help right now uh, as our person we switch into. Training lowlands. I don't really want to be in the training lowlands. Hold on. But I do want to shake this tree a little bit. Capricorn, Cobo Berry. Okay. Okay. We can do that. Uh, we, can, we can deal with that, I should say. Hold on. There's an item. Stardust. Okay. Uh, see, the thing is, if we were doing raids, then we would definitely be... We would have some experience candies under our belt, and we could use those to level up friend, but unfortunately, we do not have those. So I'm gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way, more or less. Okay, so Rockruff. Rockruff should be fairly easy to take out. Braviary could be a solid choice. Lycanroc. We can swap. Uh, we can probably deal with a Lycanroc. It'll probably be worth a decent amount of experience. I mean, not with friend, but with uh, me star at least. Swap. And me star. Oh, I didn't think that through. Okay, never mind. Me star is a bad choice here. Uh, it's a good thing we have another water type on the team. Shark boy, if you would. Ah, uh, yeah. So swapping into me star on a lichen rock is probably not the best idea. All right. Uh, but we should be fine now. A liquidation will probably do the trick. Also, they have Stealth Rock, which would be awkward if they somehow got that off before I switched. Uh, there we go. All right. And that should be a butt ton of experience for friend. Aerial Ace. Okay. Interesting move for a fighting type. But we'll take it. Certainly take it over Leer. Scary face. Not really interested in scary face. Ditch that one. Headbutt. Headbutt's a solid move. Uh, probably take that over Endure. Yeah, one, two, and ta-da. All right. Uh, so maybe we fight the Braviary instead, but also that means we're having to use help, and help is not, like, help is help so already has enough levels. I don't want to overlevel help. Uh, Mianfu, uh, well, that might also have a dark move. I don't know if I want to use me star against you either. Uh, okay. Have we been over here? I don't think we've been over here. Uh, Ponyard. Not worth a ton of experience, but it's probably something we could take out with. Do you have a fighting move, Bugs? Uh, no. Just normal ice and electric. No, that's fine. We'll, we'll skip the Ponyard. Like I said, not worth a lot of experience, so... All right, nice. Big Nugget, nice. What? Nice. Oh, so land it. Uh, I don't have a ground type. And again, that's another one that I would expect to have a dark type move, so I don't really want to use me star against it. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just looking for someone that me star has a particularly good matchup against. Uh, 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 uh. Hello, Braviary. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe I fight the Braviary. Me Star has Power Gem, which could be good against. Mm. No, no, I don't. I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, I do want to heal Me Star though, because Me Star's looking a little bit beat up. Uh, let's let's not fight the Braviary actually. 
head back into Brawler's Cave for now. I guess Me Star versus the Polyrath is a solid matchup. Uh, when, well, Polyrath might also have dark moves. Ah, there's a lot of Pokemon here that put, could potentially have dark moves. Uh, Gigalith? Yeah, I think we could fight a Gigalith. Those uh, typically aren't crazy hard to deal with, aside from sturdy. Oh, okay. Uh, please don't kill me, Star. Oh. Uh huh. Okay. <sighs> break, break, Shamor. I lose Rock Smash to learn Brick, break. Okay, well, I guess I should have remembered that Explosion was in Gigalith's learn set. <sighs> Damn it. Me Star was like. No, no, not gonna lie. Me Star was like my favorite out of this current team. So. Like, I'm a, I'm a little bummed here. A little bit bummed. Uh, yeah, we'll go through the training little ends. Get out of here. Get out of here, all you. Uh. Man. Man, oh man, oh man. Durr. I guess I gotta go through the forest of frames. Uh, uh, man. I mean, at least we got the experience, but still. Show me a Pokemon. It's a sand dial. Neat. Alright. Uh, tiny Shroom. Yup. Lots. Yup. Uh, oh, what did I run into? A Venipede. Okay, cool. Cool. Well, I'm kind of on my way to bury a friend. Well, not this friend, but like uh, a different friend. Um, kind of on my way to bury someone, so if you could like just move, that would be great. I'm not going to try to run because there's a huge level difference here. So poke it all. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just, let me just, just let me through. All right. All right, bud. This is a somber occasion we've got going on here. <sighs> well, at least we got that Rotomi set up so that, you know, we can more easily more easily deposit their Pokemon. Uh, man. Now that means Shark Boy is our only water type on the team. Ugh. 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 Uh, I mean, I guess I could grab someone else, but... Ay, ay, ay. All right, all right. What are we doing? Uh, checks boxes. E star. I'm gonna take those leftovers of yours. Yeah. And rip. Ah. All right, all right. Who are we? So the the big thing was psychic, right? Because me star psychic covers bugs fighting weakness and shark boys fighting weakness so we need someone to cover fighting mm, we don't necessarily need another water type but we do need someone to cover fighting uh, which would mean uh, either eggsy or heart or july uh, I'll 
given our lack of special attackers. I think heart's the choice. Not uh, super crazy about Swoobat, but uh, I mean, maybe Heart can prove himself. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's actually, I actually do kind of want to go back to the mainland so I can get a move relearner to uh, look at Heart. God, I'm still, I'm still just so, so used to going to Pokemon to fly places, you know, to, to use the move fly. That's just not how it works in this game. Uh, sorry if 20 years of Pokemon taught me differently. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, no, this isn't what I want. I want to remember a move. Or at least to look at what Heart can remember. All right, uh, Gust of Track, Confusion, Endeavor, Air Cutter. We do want a Stab Flying move, although Air Slash is gonna be better than Air Cutter. Uh, Combine's all right. I don't really like Future Sight, and Simple Beam could be useful, but also there we have uh, TMs we could probably use. So, let's go ahead and have a look. What can Heart learn? Heart can learn Fly, which is not great for Heart. Light Screen and Reflect, Safeguard, Rest, Snore, Protect, Gig Giga Drain? It's an interesting one, okay. Charm, Stealing, Attract, Whirlpool, not, not Whirlpool. Uh, swift. Uh, fake tears. U-turn could be a solid move. Speed swap. Not really great when you're a fast Pokemon. Um, round. Eh. Uh, we've got Psy Shock Endure. Okay, so I think there was kind of a clear standout here. And that would be Giga Drain. Giga Drain's a pretty solid move, and I'd probably take it over Simple Beam, and you know what? With the uh, Calm Mind, that seems like a pretty decent combo. Although it doesn't seem like Heart's defenses are super great, so, you know. Guess we'll have to see about that, but. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. Uh. Now let's actually, let's compare defenses between Heart and the rest of the similarly leveled Pokemon. Uh, 8178, so better than Shark Boy. Better than Bugs, well, actually worse than Bugs. Uh, but Bugs has a couple levels. Uh, niche has better defenses, as does Help. Okay, uh, so Heart's defenses aren't great. But for its level, it's got a decent amount of health. So I guess we're using a similar strat on heart as we did with Me Star. Oh, I don't know. Uh, okay. See, now I'm trying to think. What was it? Because like, if we're gonna turn friend dark. What was it that uh, we had water covering? And I mean, as it stands, it's rock and fire and ground. So rock, fire and ground. And I don't think there's any other type that covers all three of those. So we kind of do need to keep water. We also have three people who are weak to some of those. So, um, I don't know, maybe we turn friend water type? Either way, it's kind of a conflict with Shark Boy. Unless we want to swap Shark Boy out for someone else. And then maybe like maybe like Whalium? Or Mep? I mean we don't have Nope. I mean we have a solid answer for 
for electric types. But like, it's not like an actual ground type like map would be. We have a good number of answers for grass, which is Quagsire's only weakness. So do we swap Shark Boy for Mep and then make friend Dark type? I think that might be what we're doing. Okay, well, I mean, we're, uh, in a way, we're kind of weakening our team a little by lowering some levels, but also I think this is just kind of going to be better type coverage because I do want to use friend. And plus, you know, using friend is part of the story, so. Uh, um, all right, so I guess we'll see what map can learn. Uh, remember a move. Map. Map's a better attacker than special attacker, but not by much, so it's really not a big deal. We've got Aqua Tail in our move set. Yawn could be useful. Uh, not a whole lot of moves here, actually. Uh, muddy Water. Hmm. Earthquake, which is good. Toxic. Amnesia. Uh, would I take Aqua Tail over Muddy Water? 90, 90. Yeah, probably. But honestly, there wasn't really much else that I wanted to teach Mep. Uh, um, Mep actually has more health than heart, so maybe I should give him the leftovers. But first, let's check our TMs. Uh, Mep can learn Ice Punch, which is solid. Um, let's see, let's see. Dig. We already have Earthquake. Safeguard, Rest. Rock Slide. Rock Slide could be good. Um, Icy Wind is whatever. Attract, probably not. Whirlpool, probably not. Facade, maybe, but probably not. Brick Break is solid, but we have a fighting type. Um, ch -ch -ch. Rock Tomb, not as good as Rock Slide. Mud Shot, not as good as Earthquake. Uh, guard Swap. Hmm. I don't think that's especially helpful. Round, nope. Bulldoze, nope. Uh, can learn Iron Tail. Could be good. Uh, I already know. New Muddy Water. Sludge Wave? We already have a poison type, though. Hmm. Whoops. Uh, focus Blast. It's too inaccurate. Uh, so I think, actually, the only thing I really saw that I would want to put on map is Ice Punch. But what would we get rid of? Amnesia? Hmm. I mean, I suppose. I don't think we really need two Stally types here. So, yeah, all right. We'll get rid of Amnesia for Ice Punch. Not that we really need another Ice Oh, well, maybe I should go Rock Slide then. Maybe I should go Rock Slide if we don't really need another Ice Move. Because I forgot that uh, you can also learn Rock Slide. Yeah. We don't have any Rock Moves on the team, but we have like three different Ice Moves. So actually, we'll just go Rock Slide. Could technically go both if I wanted to get rid of Toxic, but I don't really want to get rid of Toxic, so. Uh, and then we're gonna take the item from Heart and give it to Mep, and we'll give Heart something else. Uh, how are your offensive stats compared to. So that's 105 compared to 105. 
or 112 if we're going off the better stat for Mep. Uh, I want to give you something to heal with since you have Calm Mind, but I don't know how much that'll help. Uh, okay. So, I mean, you're fast, so we could maybe put a King's Rock on you. Oh, and you have uh, Air Slash, don't you? Hmm. King's Rock might actually be the correct choice here. Um, let's see. What else? What else? We could do Shell Bell, but I don't know. Well, like, King's Rock isn't really great if you're spending turns buffing yourself. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Can't use Assault Vest with Calm Mind. Oh wait, if you're doing Calm Mind, it's not Cosmic Power. So if you're doing Calm Mind, you're actually gaining offensive stats. So actually, Shell Bell would be better, perhaps. Because then you'll end up one-shotting people and getting some health back from your one-shots. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll give Heart the Shell Bell. Alright, and then we're going to go back to the Isle of Armor. But we're going to do that next time. Because uh, as for this episode, that's a wrap. This time I faced her perfectly away.